Good afternoon. Today is Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. I received a word from the Lord approximately at 1154 this morning. Um, as always, the Bible encourages us to test every spirit. And I do mean every spirit, no matter how much you believe that you are hearing from the Lord, no matter how clear that his voice um, it is being heard by you. You always have to test the spirit. You always have to uh, get back to the secret place, take it back to him in prayer and ask him to not only confirm or deny what you heard, but also maybe even give you additional revelation or instructions. So this is what he said. And this is for the body of Christ as a whole, the children of God, my children, you must guard your hearts against pride. Pride is not always loud and evident. Sometimes it takes the form of passive aggression or avoidance. Sometimes it is your inability to admit how you're really feeling or the facade that you've put on because you don't want to burden anyone with your problems. So you pretend that everything is fine when it isn't. Pride is also when you cannot be taught or corrected. I use the foolish things to confound the wise. Let those who are wise in their own estimations become fools so that they may attain true wisdom. Be wary of thinking higher of yourself than you ought to. You must decrease for me to increase. I want to fill you of more of my spirit, but in order to do that, you must deny yourself. You must crucify the rebellious parts of yourself that are always looking back like Lot's wife, longing for the time when you weren't under so much pressure, when you weren't experiencing such heavy attacks. Do not be surprised at your suffering for your brothers and sisters across the world are experiencing the same kind of trials for my namesake. Rejoice in your suffering, knowing that you have been sealed for the day of redemption knowing that you have been washed clean in the blood of the Lamb, knowing you will see me face to face. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Another form of pride you want to watch for is your inability to either ask for help or have trouble accepting it. You must humble yourself. Admit when you need help. Admit when you have taken on more than you can handle. Admit when you don't have the answer. Admit when you don't know the answer. Every time you do this, you humble yourself. Every time you do this, you give me an opportunity to teach you acts of humility through exposing areas of pride. Pride comes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. Many of you know this, but have no idea you have become prideful. Ask me to reveal every prideful place in you and to expose its origins. I will show you how it got into your heart and how to guard your heart from it entering in again. Check your heart for pride daily. Pride is very subtle. It is not always obvious or apparent. Another form of pride is bragging and boasting in your accomplishments in what you've made it out of or overcome. I give my glory to no one. Apart from me, you can't do anything. Sometimes I have to remind you of this to keep you from becoming puffed up. I am the vine. You are the branch. Any fruit you bear, any successes you have are all the working of my hands. The favor that is on your life is not because you are so great, but because I am faithful to my word, my covenants, and my promises. You cannot earn my favor. I give it to whom I will. Many of you think that you are being punished for something you have done. Although I chastise those I love just because you are being attacked does not mean I am displeased with you. Satan does not like losing dominion. And if and when he does, you can expect some sort of retaliation to follow. Sometimes I know these attacks. Sometimes I allow these attacks as a tool to teach you how to engage in spiritual warfare. Sometimes I allow them to show you your faith is not as strong as you thought it was. 
Many times I allow them to strengthen your faith and trust in me. Many of you say you trust me, but cling tightly to the things you must let go of or release to me. Many of you do trust, but are refusing to relinquish control in a certain area of your life. If you don't know what area that is, ask me and I will reveal it to you. My chastisement is out of love. I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you. You must let go of your old life, old habits, old patterns, old ways of thinking, old attitudes and mindsets. This is another way I circumcise your heart and transform you from glory to glory. It is time to release to me the things you haven't been able to let go of. Give them to me today. Release them to me. Lay them at my feet. I, the Lord, have spoken. The Lord wants me to finish with Matthew um, chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. Pardon me for one moment. So it's going to be Matthew 11, chapter 25 to 30. And today I'm going to read from the English Standard Version. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 